Here's a very popular exercise dealing with the equation of a line. It says find the equation of a line that goes through the points negative 2, 2 and the point 4, 5. So what they've done is they've given us two points, negative 2, 2, which is right here, and 4, 5, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here. And then they want the equation of the line that goes through those two points, uh, something kind of like so. There we go. So we want the equation of this line here. Now, when we write the equation of a line, it has to be in, in one of our typical forms of a line, either slope-intercept form or point slope form or standard form or something like that. So first of all, let's decide what, what might be the best route to go. Well, if you notice out of the points that were given, uh, this point and this point here, um, neither one of these told us where it crossed over the y-axis. And so maybe let's not go sl to use slope intercept form. Instead, I'm thinking point slope form because what we were provided were just random points on the line. So I think point slope form would be good. Uh, now, in saying that, I, I have a point on the line. In fact, I have two, but what I don't have is the slope of the line. So I, I think that's gonna be the first thing I need. So now how do I find the slope of my line? Well, the slope of the line is the same as the slope between any two points on the line. So let me, let me compute the slope between these two points and then that'll be my M, that'll be my rise over run for the line. So hopefully we're, we remember our equation for slope between two points. It's Y minus, uh, I'm sorry, y, y2 minus Y1, which is five minus two, divided by X2 minus X1. And where I'm getting that from is if this is my first point, I'm going to call this x1, y1, because it's the first x, y point, and this x2, y2, because it's the second x, y point. So y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That gives you the rise over the run, the rise over run between those two points. 5 minus 2 is 3. 4 minus negative 2 is 4 plus 2, which is 6. So this line has a slope of a half. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. So that's gonna be our M. And now we also just need a point on the line. So let, let me jot down point slope form just to refresh our memory. Y minus Y1 equals M parentheses X minus X1. So the M is done. I, I've got that taken care of. Now, to be honest with you, we could use either point as our x1, y1. It doesn't matter. Both would lead to the correct answer. Uh, I, think, mm, I think I'll use 4, 5 simply because they're already positive, but it makes no difference. You could use the other one. So we'd have y minus 5 equals 1 half parentheses x minus 4. So now if we were okay leaving our answer in point slope form, that would be our answer. But oftentimes they, when they ask for the equation of a line, they'll actually want it in slope intercept form, just because that's probably the most popular form of a line. So what we'll often have to do, and we'll, we'll go ahead and do it in this example, is simplify this guy to write it in slope intercept form. And so to do that, we'd have to distribute the one half so we'd have one half x minus a half times four, which is two. That equals y minus five. And then we'll add five to both sides. That'll cancel the minus five and the plus five. And then we'll have y equals one half x plus three. So one half x plus three. So this is also the equation of the same line. This line goes through negative 2, 2, and it goes through 4, 5. You can check this by taking these x values and plugging them in and see if you get these y values. And actually, we have time. Let's do it real quick. Uh, let's plug in negative 2. 1 half times negative 2, that's negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 makes 2. Perfect. That means this point is on my line. 
and let's let's plug in four. A half times four is two. Two and three make five. So that point is also on my line. So I'm 100% confident that the equation of this line represents this graph. And so we're done. Uh, just in closing, what I've also done is I went ahead and graphed this line between these two points on my calculator and look at our graph and compare it to this graph. It's the same thing, right? Uh, if you look at negative 2, 2, it goes through that point, negative 2, 2. And here's 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's 4, comma, 5. And so all I did in my calculator was I graphed 1 half x plus 3, and it is the right line that goes through these two points. So sometimes you have to do a little work on the side where you find the slope or you do something else uh, in order to get the equation of your line.